Hello everybody, it is Avalon again. Okay, what is addiction? What do you think addiction is? Stop and, and consider, if you if somebody asks you, what, what does addiction mean? What would you say? I had a different opinion of addiction back before my addiction. You know, a uh, heroin, especially a heroin addict. Um, it's a heroin addict is on the street and is... Um, sleeping on the street and just, you know, or, or an alcoholic is just this person in the gutter. And I mean, just, I had all these preconceived notions about what addiction is. And so I, I had a different opinion. And then after I became an addict, my, of course, my opinion changed. And I realized that, that addiction affects women and children and of both, um, poor, rich, um, there, it just affects everyone, lawyers, strippers, everybody. Um, and so it's changed. And even now more recently with the whole Kratom debate, it's changed even more. And here's what I mean. To, to, to say someone is an addict or say that you are an addict means that a substance has become your number one priority in life above everything else. And it's a slow process. Addiction grows. And you will start off at doing something, maybe start off with pills, and you take them as prescribed, and then you might take a couple more, and and then you start snorting them, and then you start buying them, and then you start selling them, and then you, I mean, it, so it grows. And you, but eventually it takes over everything. It's above everything else. You get to the point where you cannot function without it. And that's all you think about is getting it, doing it, coming down from it. Getting it, doing it, coming down from it. From it. That is your life. And that is addiction. So, Kratom. Now, I, I didn't mention the physical addiction. I meant, I'm talking about your mental addiction. You as an addict. You needing that substance just to, to survive life. And that's separate from the sickness that comes if you don't have it. So for me, it, there's two separate things. There's physical, there's mental. Now, physical addiction. Goodness, I don't know if you guys heard that. There was a dog screaming out there. But anyway, so physical addiction can happen without the mental addiction. People can be prescribed pain meds and um, take them for years and they are physically dependent on them because that's what the body does. It becomes physically dependent on narcotics after you use them for a certain amount of time. And they're not addicts. They're not in the addict mentality. Um, they take them as prescribed. They, they don't um, fantasize about them. They don't you know, it, it's just a medication to them. And that is a whole different situation. And so when we're talking about Kratom addiction, um, that a lot of people talk about, they, the body after taking it for a, for a amount of time, the body becomes accustomed to having that, the dopamine and the serotonin, um, it, the, it just all becomes used to and relies on that alkaloid to, to make the effects that it makes. Now, I've been taking Kratom for almost around five years. I don't know the exact amount of time, but I think it's around five years. And not too long ago, I did a video because I had not taken Kratom in a few days and I suffered no withdrawal symptoms, even after all this time. So, but there are people that do. And just because your body is addicted to a substance does not mean you are 
in a horrible place and out of control and you're, you know, oh, I'm addicted to Kratom. Oh no, what do I do? Because I, I, I you know, I suffered some little bit of withdrawals and, and the, you'd get all bent out of shape because you hear people saying, oh, Kratom is addictive. It's so horrible. It's not horrible if your body is addicted to a substance. It's just not. What's horrible is the addict thinking. The addict, there's a switch that turns on in an addict's brain when it comes to certain chemicals. And it starts an obsession process where you are seeking, 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 seeking. And it's like blinders. And the little carrot dangling in front of you. That's all you can focus on. Now, I take Kratom every day. When I wake up in the morning, Kratom is not the first thing I think about. Coffee is the first thing I think about. And, um, you know, if you're waking up and all you and all the first thing you need to do is you need to take Kratom, then may, you might have an, a, 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 an issue. Um, but don't hate on yourself because you have a physical dependence on something. Whether it's from the doctor or whether it's from nature. It becomes a problem when you obsess. It becomes a problem and you know, a person knows. A person knows if they're addicted. A person knows they know, and you know what I'm talking about. You know if you have a problem long before you can admit it. So it comes down to taking steps to adjust what you're doing. If you need help doing that, there are support groups, counselors, whoever you need to help you. You can get help if you have become addicted to a substance and you realize that it may be out of control and you better get on it now before it becomes worse because anything can be a gateway drug. Anything can, and it could be alcohol. It could be cough medicine. It could be marijuana. It could anything. And, and it's different with everybody. Some people can't use anything. Some people have to be completely abstinent from everything or it throws them into a relapse. I know a lot of people like that, that I was in treatment with. They can't use anything. And that's, that's great that they know that. And it's great that they don't mess with that because it's, you don't want to, you know, be messing with addiction. I know that I can take Kratom and it has not thrown me into relapse with opiates and I would rather have Kratom and, and live a fulfilling life than something else because that's what works for me. But if I even started to even think that Kratom was an issue, I would get on it. I would get on it. I would not hide it. I would not pretend. And I hope you wouldn't either, no matter what the substance is. But addiction affects us all differently. And those of you who need to get off of anything, I urge you to get help. There's nothing shameful. There's nothing embarrassing. It shouldn't be anyway. I know I was. I'm not saying don't be embarrassed or shame. I was. I was, but I was an older, I was in my mid to late forties. And I, here I am in a halfway house with young people. Um, I was embarrassed. I couldn't even admit I was an addict the first six months I was there. I got thrown out after six months. And I still couldn't admit I was an addict. I wasn't ready. I needed to go back out and have my ass kicked by my addiction. 
to really prove to myself what addiction is. Because in my mind, I thought, this is what an addict looks like. This is what an alcoholic looks like. This is what, and I'm not that. I still have my nice place to live. I still, you know, it looks all, it looks different to, to everybody. But I had to go and I had to go back and I finally admitted I was an, I was an addict. I am an addict. I am. And I, Suboxone did not work for me for a few reasons. Financially is one of them. Number two is at first it started, it worked. It relieved that, it relieved that dark cloud that's over my head from a long active opiate addiction. And, um, but then it started not to work as much. And, um, I just didn't want to be physically addicted to something that powerful. Um, now, I'm not afraid of being physically addicted to Kratom, if that happens to me. I'm not afraid. Because I was physically addicted to Suboxone. And that is an, a, recover, a supposed recovery drug. So is Kratom. And it's a lot less addicting. Do people get addicted to it? Well, obviously they do because you got people out there talking about how addicted they were to it. I guess if you take 50 grams or more a day for any amount of time, you're going to become addicted. <laughs> um, so anyway, don't be hating on yourself if you've, if you've got addicted to it. Don't. Don't be hating on yourself because you it got out of control for you. Get help. Get back up. And go on. If you got to get on Suboxone to get off a of Kratom and it helps you live a productive life, then do it. Do what's good for you and what's right for you. Don't tell somebody else they're wrong because you couldn't take Kratom and they can. So now, you know, they're wrong because they're just lying to themselves because they're at. No. It's working for them. Let them have it. And get your own life back under control. Okay. All right. That's all I'm going to talk about today. Oh my gosh. It's such a beautiful day. 72 degrees, sunny. Oh, so nice to have summer back. I hope you, it's sunny wherever you are. So anyway, brightest blessings and goddess bless.